Hi everyone, the Chang here. Going to be doing a product review slash comparison uh, between the Fixit Sticks, which is a uh, portable torque driver or torque limiter, if you were, if you would, and uh, the Wheeler Fat Wrench or the Firearms Torque Wrench here, uh, which I've used for a couple other installs and whatnot. I actually am going to be replacing the C and H Precision plate on my Glock 34. I buggered up this plate putting this uh, Holosun 507 uh, CGR, the green version, on it. Uh, so we will uh, go through the install and see which one's easier to use. Uh, All right, so C&H uh, Precision, they say that the silver screws, which go into these two spots here, need to be torqued to 10. So the Wheeler Fat Wrench um, not real precise. So I've got these di this dial here at the bottom that allows me to set torque values. But, you know, if this line is at 10, is this line actually at 12 or 13 or 14? All right, where on the line do I actually line it up? So that's going to be my main issue here. And one of the reasons why I'm replacing this is because uh, I thought that this was at 10, and when I started cranking down, it's supposed to click, and it never did, and it over torqued. So I probably had it set a little over 10, but I couldn't tell because I'm just trying to use that red line. Now, they do make a digital version of this, but uh, I, being cheap, I didn't get it. So um, when I come down a little bit, maybe it's set for the top of the line, right? So let me come down a little bit, get the top of that line right at that 10. Let's go ahead and get a screw in there. Let's try to go ahead and get this screwed in. So I'm going to start it. All right, it's getting tight. And again, I feel like I'm over tightening it. So it's not clicking or anything like that. Now with the fix it sticks, um, there's no really Nothing that you can set, but there's indicator lines here. So I'm going to be, when you're, when you're screwing this in, you're looking for that line to actually reach the 10, designation, the 10 designator. So I'm going to get this screw in here. All right, now I'm going to back this one out a bit. Go ahead. Get that screwed in. Now I'm looking for that line. So you see now that line is at, looks like six. I want that line to go all the way. to the 10. There you go. Just about the 10. All right. So this feels like it's easier to use. Um, I like having that line there to actually see how much torque I'm actually putting on the screw here. All right, there we go, nine or 10 pounds. All right, so it feel, it, it's definitely spring-loaded on the inside, I can feel it. So, recommendation here, if you don't have a digital version of these, I would go with one of these. I've been very, very resistant. Um, Range Officer Greg has had one of these and I've made fun of him for spending so much money on, on different bits and different torque limiters when, uh, when you know, the Wheeler Fat Wrench does the same thing. And uh, I, I will happily eat crow. Range Officer Greg was on to something and uh, I actually do really like this. So I'll probably be reinvesting uh, in a bunch of the fix it sticks tools they are a little bit on the pricier side i did find um this combination for probably eight dollars less on cnh precision's website versus on amazon so there you go um i'm going to finish 
installing the uh, the rest of the site here. But I wanted to show you uh, the differences in the two in, in terms of being able to really get a good torque weight that you're looking for. And my recommendation is to actually go with the Fix It Stick product. Hopefully you found this uh, enjoyable and helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Love to have you subscribe to the channel. Click on that subscribe button and click on that bell notification off to the right there so that you can be informed of any new content that we might post. Thank you so much. Stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.